shall die. Take him and cut him out into little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. Oh, I have bought a mansion of love, but not yet possessed it. And though I am sold, not yet enjoyed. So tedious is this day. Welcome back. 
then. Oh, Holy Friar, oh, tell me, Holy Friar, where is my lady's lord? Where is Romeo? There on the ground with his own tears made drunk. He is even in my mistress's case, oh, just in her case. Oh, woeful sympathy, pity is forsaken, even so lies she, weeping and blubbering, blubbering and weeping. Stand, rise and stand, children and dear man, for Juliet's sake, for her sake, rise and stand. Why should you fall into so deep an oath? Juliet? How is it with her? Does she not think me an old murderer? Now that I have stained the childhood of our joy with blood removed but little from her own? Where is she? How doth she? And what says my concealed lady of our castle love? She says nothing, sir, but weeps and weeps, and now falls on her bed and starts up, and Tybalt calls, and on Romeo cries, and then down falls again. Is that name? Shot from the deadly level of a gun did murder her. Is that person they murdered her kinsman? Tell me, Friar, tell me. In what vile part of the anatomy does my name lie? Tell me, so that every step is in hand. Hast thou slain Tybalt? Will thy slay thyself? And stay thy lady too that lives in thee? By doing damn hate upon thyself. <laughs> Go. Get thee to thy lady as we decree. <coughs> Ascend her chamber hence and comfort her. But look thou stay not till the watch be set. For then thou cannot pass to Mantua, where thou shalt live, till we can find a time to blaze your marriage. Reconcile your friends, beg pardons of the DA, and call thee back with 20 hundred thousand times more joy than thou in sport and lamentation. Go before nurse. Commend me to thy lady. Bid her hasten all the house to bed, which heavy sorrows make them that thon to. Romeo is coming. Oh, my lord, I'll tell my lady you will come. Do so. And bid my sweet prepare to chat. Uh, here, sir, a grin she bid me give you, sir. Hide you, make haste, for it grows very late. Oh, my comfort is revived by this. <clears throat> Go hence. Good night, and here stands all your state. Either be gone before the watch be set, or by the great eighth day the sky from hence. So journey in Mantua. I'll find out your man, and he shall signify from time to time that every good hap to you that chance is here. Joy past joy calls out on me. And we're grief so brief to part with thee. Farewell. Kinsman Tybalt dearly. So did I. Well, we were born to die. Tis very late, shall not come down tonight. And I promise you, not for your company, I'd be a bed an hour ago. These times of woe afford no time to woo. Madam, good night. 
Present it to your daughter. I will. And know her mind tomorrow. Tonight she is mute up to her heaviness. Sir Paris, I'll make a desperate tender of my child's love. What? I think she will be ruled by me in all respects. Nay, <coughs> doubt it not. Wife, go you to her, ere you go to bed. Acquaint her here of my son Paris's love, and bid her mark you me on Wednesday next. What's up? What day is it? Monday, Lord. Monday! Well, Wednesday's too soon. Thursday, let it be. <laughs> Thursday tells her she shall be married to this noble Earl. Will you be ready? Do you like this haste? We'll have no great ado, a friend or two, for mark you, Tibble being slain so late, it may be thought we held him carelessly, being our kinsman if we revel much. Therefore, we'll have some half a dozen friends, and there and in. What say to Thursday? My lord, I would that Thursday were tomorrow. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Get ye gone then, Thursday be it. Go you to Juliet, ere you go to bed. Prepare her wife against this wedding day. Farewell, my lord. Light to my chamber hoe for me. So very late then. You may call it early, by and by. tiptoe on the misty mountaintops. I must be gone and live or, or stay and die. Yon light is not daylight. I know it. It is some meteor that the sun exists. <laughs> to be to thee this night a torchbearer and light thee on thy way to mansion. Therefore stay yet. Thou needest not be gone. <coughs> Let me be taken. Let me be put to death. I am content. So thou wilt have it so. I'll say yon gray is not the morning's eye. Tis but the pale reflex of Cynthia's brow. Nor that is not the lark, whose notes do beat the vaulty heaven so high above our heads. I have more care to stay than where to go. Come death and welcome, Juliet wills it so. How is my soul? Let's talk. It's <laughs> <laughs> not taken. Hence, be gone away. <laughs> it is 
the lark that sings so out of tune. <laughs> One kiss, and I'll descend. Art thou gone, son? Love? Lord? I, husband? Friend? I must hear from thee every day and the hour, because in a the minute there are many days. shall be much in years, ere again I behold my Romeo. I will admit no opportunity, love, to convey my greetings to thee. <coughs> Thinkest thou we shall ever meet again? <laughs> I doubt it not, for all these woes shall serve as sweet discourses <coughs> in our time to come. Trust me, love. In my eye, so do you. Try sorrow, drinks our blood. Behold him dead. 
my poor heart for a kinsman best. And now, I'll tell thee <coughs> joyful tidings, girl. And joy comes in such needy times. What are they? I beseech your ladyship. Well, thou hast a careful father, child, one who, to put thee from thy heaviness, thou sorted out a sudden day of joy that thou expectest not, nor I looked not for. A happy time, what day is that? Mary, my child, early next Thursday morn, the gallant, young, and noble gentleman, the county of Paris, at St. Peter's Church, shall happily make thee there a joyful bride. No. The St. Peter's Church and Peter too. He shall not make thee there a joyful bride. I wonder at this haste that I must win, ere he that comes to woo. Tell my lord and father, madam, I will not be here. And when I do, it shall be to Romeo, who you know I hate, rather than Paris. <laughs> this is news indeed. Well, here comes your father. Tell him till you tell. See how he will take it at your hands. How now, wife? Have you delivered to her our decree? I, sir. She will not. She gives thanks. I would the fool were married to her grave. So, take me with you, wife, take me with you. How? Will she none? Doth she not give us thanks? Is she not proud? Doth she not count herself blessed, unworthy as she is, that we have brought such a worthy gentleman to be her bridegroom? Not proud you have, but thankful you have. Proud can I never be of what I hate, but thankful, even for hate that is meant love. By, by what are you mad? Good father, I beseech you on my knees. Hear me with patience, but to speak a word. Take me, young baggage, disobedient wretch. I tell thee what, get thee to a church on Thursday or never look me in the face. Speak not, reply not, do not answer me. My fingers itch. Wife, we scarce thought us blessed that God had lent us this one child. Now I see this one is one too many, and we have a curse in having her. God in heaven bless her. You are to blame, my lord, to break her so. And why, my lady wisdom? Hold your tongue, good prudence, or spatter your gossips and go. I speak no treason. Oh, God, ye God. They have one speak. Praise you, my boy, fool! Honor your gravity over a gossip bowl, for here we need it not. You are too hot! To answer, I'll not wed. I cannot love. I am too young. I pray you, pardon me. As you will not wed.
pity sitting in the clouds that sees into the bottom of my grief. Oh, my sweet brother, cast me not away. Delay this marriage for a week, a month, or make the bridal bed in that dim monument for a dimple life. my father to Lord's assembly to make confession and to be absolved. Oh, Mary, I will. And this is wise of you. I'll subscribe to know his remedy. All else fails. Myself have power to die. On Thursday, sir, the time is very short. My father Capulet is not so. I am not the slow to slap his face. You say you do not know the lady's mind. Uneven is this horse. I like it not. In moderately, she reached the total step. And therefore, I have a little talk with her. For being his smiles out in her house full of tears. Now, sir, her father counts it dangerous that she doth give her sorrow so much slave. And in his wisdom, hastes our marriage to stop the inundation of her tears, which, too much minded by herself alone, may be put from her by society. Now do you know the reason of this haste? I would I knew not why it should be slowed. Look, sir, here comes the lady towards my cell. Happily met, my lady and my wife. That may be, sir, when I may be a wife. That may be, must be, love. On Thursday next. What must be shall be. That's a certain text. Come you to make confession to this writer. To answer that, I must confess to you. So will you. I am sure that you love me. If I do, it will be more prize being spoke behind your back than to your face. Of course. 
soul. Thy face is much abused with tears. Thy face is mine, and thou hast slandered it. That may be so. But it's not my need. Are you at leisure, holy father, now, or shall I return that evening mass? My leisure serves me, pensive daughter. Now, my lord, we must entreat this time alone. God shall I should disturb devotion. Julius, on Thursday early I will rouse you. Until then, adieu. And keep this holy kiss.
Shall I not then be stifled in the vault whose foul mouth no handsome air breathes in and die strangled ere my Romeo comes? Romeo. Death played with thy wife. There she lies, 
flowered as she was the flower by him. Death is my son-in-law. Death is my heir. My daughter he hath wished. I will die and leave him all. Life, living, all is death. Trust the flattering truth of sleep. My dreams presage some joyful news at hand. I dreamt my lady came and found me dead. A strange dream gives dead man leave to think. She breathed such life with kisses in my lips that I was revived. I was an emperor. I mean, how sweet is love itself possessed when but love's shadows are so rich in joy. from Verona. How now, Balthazar? Dost thou have letters to me from the friar? How fares my Juliet? Is my father well? Is my lady good? For nothing can be ill if she be well. Then all is well and nothing can be ill. Her body sleeps in capital monuments and her mortal heart with angel bliss. I saw her lay low in her tears of love presently to close to tell you. Oh, pardon me, bringing these ill news. Since you did leave it for my office, sir. Is it even so? And I defy you, stars. I do beseech you, sir. Have patience. Your looks are pale and wild, and do import for this adventure. Tush. Thou art deceived. Go away, go and do the thing I bid thee do. Hath thou no letters to me from the friar? No, my good lord. No matter. Get thee gone. I will be gone, sir, and not trouble you. Thou shalt show me friendship. Go and take thou that live and be prosperous. Farewell, good friend. His looks I fear, and his intents I doubt. Well, Juliet. I will lie with thee tonight. Let's see for means. Oh, mischief. Thou art swift enter into the thoughts of desperate men.
Do you remember an apothecary? Meet your heart her looks. Sharp Henry had worn her to the bone. And noting this to myself, I said, and if a man should need a poison now, to sell this fancy pad of a You know, the decay of branch and sell it What ho, apothecary? Who calls so loud? charge of dear import, and neglecting it may do much danger. Brother John, go hence. She'll pursue me much that Romeo hath had no notice of these accidents. But I will write again to Mantua. Suck the honey off thy breath. I no power yet upon thy beauty. Are not conquered. Beauty's ensign is yet crimson in my cheeks and in my lips. That's pale flags not advance there. Julia, I thought yet so fair. Shall I believe that unsubstantial death is amorous? Helena born monster. 
monster keeps thee here in the dark to be his paramour? Okay, oh, well, I said if I have a lasting rest. And shake the yoke of inauspicious stars. Take your last embrace. Lips. Oh, you the doors to breath. Seal with a righteous kiss. Dayless bargain to engrossing death. Savory guy. Here's to my love. with a kiss. kiss thy lips. Happily some poison still doth hang on them, and I will die with the restored. <coughs> thy lips are warm. Oh, yeah. Ye noise. Then I'll be brief.
see what a scourge is laid upon your hate? That heaven finds means to kill your joys with love, and I, for winking at your discords too, have lost a brace of kinsmen. All are punished. All are punished. <laughs> Story of more woe than this of Juliet and Herodias. 